A week and a half away from Super Bowl 53, where the New England Patriots will take on the L.A. Rams. And while the big game will take place in Atlanta, as you know, there's also a big connection to our valley. Gibby is with the Tempe company behind all of those signs and banners made for the Super Bowl. Hi, Gib. Good morning. Hi there, guys. You know what? You guys have probably seen them and you didn't even know it. They were in New Orleans. As a matter of fact, this is their fifth year. So the last four Super Bowls, you've seen their signage everywhere. As a matter of fact, Scott, you've seen it at ISM Raceway recently at their last race. I mean, they filled out the whole entire infield with their signage and they are scheduled to do so this year, not to mention Miami next year. But it takes a lot to make this happen. Darren was joining me here with Blue Media. How do you guys get something like this done? When I look at these buildings and you look at the artwork and everything you guys put up, that is amazing. Um, really, it comes down to the people. Uh, there's people that have moved from around the country to work here in Arizona at Blue Media. And we have about 50 people on the ground for about four weeks, uh, depending on where the Super Bowl city is. But the people that put their heart and passion and soul into making this happen is, is really the special piece. That's the sauce that makes it magic every year. We have some photos that we're showing right now, some that you have uh, that you see them in these buildings. I mean, these buildings are huge. The Verizon building and, and you some of them this year, it's a little bit different. You guys are actually wrapping the stadium as well, right? Yeah, each year is something a little bit more special. Uh, we're wrapping the stadium for the first time, the Mercedes Benz Arena uh, in Atlanta and putting uh, graphics on the exterior. But there's usually anywhere between 15 to 30 different locations that we'll do each year. It includes buildings, the stadium itself, the team hotels, the NFL headquarters hotels. Um, but there's a variety of different locations around the city that we're tackling. Um, we, we prepare for that throughout the year and then ultimately that culminates into installing and executing all those graphics over a period of about 40 to 60 days. As you mentioned, I know there were about 50 installers right now really busy and then you had to wait because you had to figure out who's going to be in the Super Bowl and that's pretty much what you're working on now. So a lot of your big right. stuff was done. Now it's who's in the Super Bowl and those graphics are getting made. Yeah, that's exactly right. So you can do about 70 to 80 percent of the work that's Super Bowl branded and then 20 percent of it, which is a lot. We don't find out until everybody else does when the final two teams are selected uh, and then all of those graphics are finalized and produced, shipped and installed uh, as we prepare for the final two teams that get to uh, bring us a great Super Bowl. To me, it's always amazing when you see that. I mean, we mentioned how Miami's next, right? Miami's next up and I know you have to get through this one, but when will you start for Miami? Uh, typically, the planning starts in, in March, uh, so the teams, the teams that work on the project will start getting together in, in late March, early April for the next year. Uh, we've already started working with the host committee in Miami and, and other uh, executives that are, that are bringing that, that, the, the game to their market, uh, but it's about a year out. It's a, it's a lot of planning. Well, we're proud. Thank you guys so much because you guys always you make it much. look great. Uh, you guys saw those graphics, right? I mean, that's amazing when you take a look at what it started a couple years back. I don't know if you remember when they had those, the building just filled. It took like two or three buildings just for one Pepsi graphic that was on, <laughs> on the buildings. I mean, that's the kind of stuff they do out here. Uh, could you imagine? I think we need an Olivia and Scott one. Uh, next time. Uh, I don't know <laughs> if we want to see ourselves that yeah, big. No. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, well, hey, but if they got an old chief sign, I'll take that. Hey, it's on sale. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Gibby. <laughs>